about 15 years with people with dementia and music. And there was a man I'd worked with for several months. So when we first met, he was quite active. He wasn't talking at that point, but his wife knew that he loved a particular song and we would sing it, his wife and I would sing it for him and he would light up and have all these kinds of responses. Um, and as things progressed, um, it then came to a stage where he was flat out in bed um, and was just breathing. And you'd come into the room, you might start playing, not even his eyes would open. Um, and I remember trying to pick up this song because I remembered it was his favourite and playing it. And then just hearing this, whoa, this vocalisation came out. And it's so easy in these situations to interpret it and go, it's definitely the music, it's definitely brought him back to life. Um, but actually, he did do it again as I continued, and then it came into the same pitch as the pitch I was singing. Um, and then I thought, actually, well, why not abandon the song and just echo back and reflect back to him what he's singing? And then we just ended up in this incredible duet of him singing, myself singing back and echoing that. And that went on you know, for three or four minutes. And then we both came to a close exactly at the same time, nobody saying anything. And then I just burst into tears because it, so, it was so intense and emotional. And, um, and there were a couple of staff members with me. They were like, did you see that? Did you see that? And um, So I always think I would never write off anybody um, as being unreachable. Really.